been wondering how to convert your Canva files to PSD templates or Photoshop templates or in reverse Photoshop to Canva. This is a highly requested tutorial on this channel as of last year when I filmed the Canva to Photoshop tutorial. It is one of, one of the most popular videos here on this channel and on my website, heatherferris.com. And today I am bringing you an updated version. So Canva now has the ability to import PDF files and edit all of them with layers, which means you can convert your Photoshop templates to a PDF with all of the layers and then import it into Canva. So if you're hiring a graphic designer or you have someone on your team that only will work in Photoshop, now you can convert their templates to Canva templates and work in that design much easier. So without further ado, let's dive right on in. You how to take Canva templates to Photoshop and Photoshop templates to Canva. So once upon a time, I created a video where I could just show you how to take Canva templates to Photoshop, but I recently found a way to actually save your files from Photoshop and actually be able to import them with new features into Canva as well. So I wanted to update this video, give you guys some updates as to this process since the last video was getting a lot of uh, comments that things aren't working or whatever. So here we go. We are going to create a new design and you can see I've been testing this already. So just wanted to make sure it worked. We're going to say we want to create a Pinterest ad. I'm going to add a Pinterest template to my design. These are previously made Pinterest templates. I'm just going to do this one. And uh, something that I want you to know when we are moving from Photoshop to Canva is this logo was not opening as a layer in Canva later on. So we'll get to that later, but for now, we're just going to export this um, design to our computer as a PSD file. We're gonna open it into Photo P, save as a PSD file, and then open it into Photoshop. So here we go. Go to share, download as PDF standard, and download. Now we're gonna open a new window Photo P and our Tailwind test file is right here. We're gonna say open from computer or drag and drop your files in. And then it's going to lo load in all of our layers. So now we have all of our layers and we're gonna to go to file, save as PSD, save. Once we have done that, we are going to hop over and open that file, the PSD file on my desktop into Photoshop and once that has fully opened up, you should be able to now edit these layers. Uh, text, font, all of the colors will map through and you can fully edit this design. Now, here's where when we do it in reverse, for some reason, Canva is not recognizing my logo at the bottom of this design as an editable layer. And it could be because here in Photoshop, when we pulled it from Canva to Photoshop, it's not recognizing it as an editable layer. So what we're gonna do is just turn off all the things until I find the layer. There it is. And it says that it's a mask. So here we're gonna try to click it. It looks like I can move it. So I don't know why for some reason it wasn't working when we do it in reverse. But I wanna just do it in reverse really quick with you to see if I can actually get that to work. So what we're gonna do is turn all of our layers back on and we're gonna go to File, Save As. Now, when you do this, make sure you're paying attention to where the document's actually gonna save on your computer. So it's saving to downloads for me. And we are gonna just quickly rename this Photoshop to Canva. So I know I'm choosing the right one and then we're saving it as a Photoshop PDF. And then click Save and go through all of these um, things here. Yes, and then what we're gonna do is wait for that to populate into our photo, our, our downloads file. I'm gonna go to Create a Design now in Canva. So this is where we're bringing a Photoshop PDF into Canva and being able to edit the layers that way. So go to import file and I'm gonna choose the Photoshop to Canva route, click open 
it's going to take it a minute to actually upload in here. And you can see right here, it's uploading right now. Once this is done, then we're going to open it up. This was one that I uploaded before, and you can see that it added some frames in there that just looked really strange. You can open them and delete them. It's no big deal. And now we have, again, just some extra layers of, of text. This was a piece of text that was before uh, a text box that was Poppin's Light. So we're actually just going to delete those, and we're going to move it back and just add our Poppins light text back. So that's what happened in the previous one. It added some gibberish font in a foreign language that didn't make any sense to me. So I just deleted that and now I can add my text back on. And in this one, in this example I'm showing you now, this is actually working. So I'm gonna actually show you this one where the logo file was not working and I, no matter what I did, it's like burned in. So again, it might that might happen to you. Just be aware that if that happens, you may want to go back to Photoshop, remove any of those pieces that didn't move into Canva properly, and then you can upload those assets to Canva without a background, with a background, it doesn't matter, and then assign them in your logos file here. So for example, this is a logo with a background. Um, if I were to um, click edit image, I can remove the background on that image and it will look like this one here and I can put it wherever I want. So if for some reason layers do not come into Canva properly, just know that you may need to edit it just a little bit to actually get it to work properly. And in that case, um, add them back into Canva. So that is it. That's how you move from Canva to Photoshop using PhotoP and from Photoshop to Canva just natively. Now, just be aware that if you have a ton of pages or a ton of layers, that you may run into an issue where they don't always convert properly. So there may be some tweaking that you need to do, but this really gives you the capability to buy templates from people or have graphic designers make templates for you in Photoshop, their preferred tool, and then you can actually take them and move them into Canva without all of that disaster. So Canva for the win. I love this new feature of actually being able to upload whatever you want uh, as far as a PDF into Canva and actually edit those layers. And that's it, it's so stupid simple. I'm so excited to be able to bring you the reverse of this tutorial as it was one of the most sought after requests. I would get emails and comments and DMs on Instagram asking me for the reverse Photoshop to Canva. So I'm so happy I can bring that to you today. If you're interested in learning more about Pinterest marketing or making Pinterest pins or anything Canva, I guess for that matter, head on over here and watch some of those videos and I will see you next time.